I will say, you know, obviously uh, you're based in L.A. Uh, we were talking backstage. Your son is in L.A. Did you, because I, I, I enjoy this a great deal, did you enjoy being on an airplane without him? It was amazing. Yeah. I've never enjoyed a flight, a cross-country flight in the world. more. I, yeah. You know, I got on the plane, I was like, I could, I could watch movies, I could drink wine. Yeah. I could just sit here, I could sleep. And so I was like, I didn't know what to start with. So I sort of like, I sort of did a little bit of all of it. Yeah. And then it was all over way too soon. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you and your husband, I, I have heard, have a different uh, approach with reading materials for, for your young child. Yeah, well, I think our child should, you know, have stories like Good Night Moon and, yep. you know, um, Dragons Love Tacos. Again, we dragons. broke ground yeah, for exactly. dragons. Yeah. There's another dragon. Before moment. you, nobody would be like a no dragon dragons. or dragons tacos. Like tacos. Yeah, nobody even put those two together um, ever. Exactly. And so those are the type of books that I think our son should be, you know, that we should read to him. And my husband thinks that that's dumb, that like that's like talking down to the kid. Oh, wow. And so he like reads him like, a brief history of time and like no. Charles Darwin's like <laughs> origin of species. Meanwhile, my husband has never read any of those books. <laughs> but like and now that he's a dad, he's like, why do I have to read him kids books? It's like his little, he doesn't talk like that. I talk, <laughs> I talk like that when I'm That's so funny because I feel like what he's doing then is he just, those were books he always wanted to read and now he's using the kid as an excuse. Oh. That's like me saying, like, I want him to watch Breaking Bad. <laughs> yes, exactly. And then she's exactly. like, wait a second, you want him to? Or, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I right. think it's important. <laughs> exactly. Um, and uh, I want to talk to you about your organization, Harness, which we've talked about before. Uh, yeah. uh, this is just, how would, is it about getting people engaged in politics? Yes, absolutely. I mean, you know, I, I think that artists have an incredibly important role to play in society and culture and what we deem acceptable in, in our culture and um and so with everything going on in the world and in our country um we have been at harness my organization that i co-founded with my husband who talks like this <laughs> um we have been creating spaces for frontline activists and organizers to be in relationship with storytellers and artists and creators so that so that the story of the issues and the people who are living the issues and most impacted by the issues are authentically represented in the culture. And so um, that's the work we've been doing at Harness. And that's great. Yeah. So, uh, you know, um, sometimes uh, people will ask me if, I'm, if I would ever consider running for office because uh, we talk about politics on the show, uh, but it's a hard no. Um, but would you? Because I feel like you'd be very good at it. This is actually my announcement that I'm yeah. running oh, good. for president Thank you. in 2020. No, I'm not. Um, <laughs> just to be clear. Um, uh, you know, it's so funny because I think I used to have this knee-jerk reaction to that of like, like, no, no way, I would never run for politics. That's not for me. But I think that's part of the problem. I think the fact that we think of ourselves as separate from politics is the problem. Like, mm -hmm. whether you want to be a part of politics, politics is a part of your daily life. And so I think that we are at a crossroads in our, in our history where we all should be asking ourselves, is there a role of leadership and representation that I could take on? And so it's not just a flat no anymore. It's we all belong in politics. We all need to be represented. And so I refuse to say no now. And I think we all should be asking ourselves the question. Uh, that's just wonderful to hear. I would be thrilled, of course, if you would make that choice. Thank you so much for being here. It's just always such a pleasure to see you. America Ferrer, everybody.